So, you think you can shove 13 ribs into your pants in under 30 seconds? Oh wait, you weren't thinking about that? But now you definitely are. Why are we thinking about this? Why are we thinking about this? Oh yeah, because I catch shoplifters for a living. 185 pounder, check it out. Whew. Ah. That's right. I was a loss prevention officer, which is a fancy title that means I go into a grocery store every day and pretend to be a normal shopper so that I can catch the bad guys and put them in jail. One day, I stumbled upon the shoplifter. I didn't know it at the time, but this guy was the best shoplifter I would ever encounter. And you guessed it. He was slamming 13, count them, 13 full-size ribs into his pants in easily under 30 seconds. Listen, I know what you just saw was pretty disturbing, and I really am sorry about that. But it's gonna get worse. Wait until I tell you what this guy was actually wearing. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Duh. Ladies and gentlemen, the mysterious man who was shoving meat in his pants like it was gonna save his life was dressed like a freaking cowboy for some reason. No, not like that. More like this. Now listen, I can commiserate with any entry-level employee because I've been in their shoes. I know you see some weird stuff. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. But when you work at a retail grocery store, even stranger things are afoot. No pomegranates! No pomegranates! No, 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 no pomegranates! I don't want them anywhere near here! So when you're a loss prevention who's also in charge of security at a retail grocery store, you really see some crazy stuff go down. Some fights, flashers, perverts, attempted stabbings, actual stabbings. You get the picture. I forgot how graphic this picture was. I may need to make a video on this someday. But none of this prepared me to walk up on a random cowboy just pounding meat into his pants. Yeah, I'm going on my lunch break now. I'll be able to talk. H hold on, Mom. Hold on. <laughs> Ma, I gotta go. Someone's stealing all- yeah, someone's stealing all of our meat. I gotta go. The most amazing thing is that afterwards, his pants didn't look lumpy or ridiculous at all. In fact, you would never be able to tell he had anything in his pants. This man truly is a magician of meat. But Josh, how does he do it? I have no idea, but I have a theory. In order to find out how he does it, we need to go inside his pants. As far as I can tell, after he slides the meat past his man meat, he then layers it around his legs, forming a case of meat. Now, assuming that he makes a case around his thighs and his calves, he can easily fit four to six ribs per leg, forming a meat suit. Disgusting, I know. Wow, amazing. All of a sudden, he noticed I was watching him, and he started moving straight to the exit. Now, hold on, hold on, pa pause for a second. So, think for a second what noise meat slapping against a leg would make. Yeah, probably sounds something like this, right? Imagine that times 13 as this guy is walking around the store. Unpause, please. Disturbing. I know. Speaking of disturbing, this is the tip of the iceberg of disturbing things I was exposed to in the making of this video. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh. So please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video so that someday I might be able to afford my therapy bills. Anyways, and the worst thing about it all was that I was supposed to be on my lunch break. So instead of enjoying a delicious Taco Bell beefy five layer burrito, it's going in. I was chasing a meat boy out of the store. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Excuse me, sir. I need you to take that meat out of your pants. Oh, okay. That came out wrong. I'm... I... Okay, he's running. Yeah, I scared him off. I should have worded that better. After the suspect got away, I called a meeting with my LP team. I told them about the great meat heist of 2022. After reviewing the footage, my team proceeded to tell me they have had several run-ins with the same suspect. Apparently, he always conceals a ludicrous amount of merchandise in his pants, usually meat, and is in and out in under five minutes. That way, the police never have time to respond. Now that is one. <gasps> My fellow LP, Cole, looked me dead in the eyes and said, Well boys, looks like we've got a meat monster on the loose. 
From henceforth, the name stuck. Our number one goal was to catch the meat monster and end his meat mongering once and for all. So he formed a plan. Operation Beat the Meat Monster. Oh, oh, oh. This plan can't possibly fail! To be continued.